spank my ass and call me Sally. The Gnostic teachings were central to the esoteric schools of all traditions. Stinky boo boo. Even though separated by time, space, and cultural forms, they were linked together by a common wisdom, a nexus which spans time and space to form a lineage of oral and written teaching. It's just a honky tonk, but donk a donk, which continue to this day. In the earliest stages of man's present cycle, we find records of this tradition in images drawn on cave walls, strange statues, and enigmatic diagrams and glyphs too distant to mean much to us now. Well, golly! Shazam! Hi, Sergeant Carter! It is really only in Egypt there's records of a fully developed esoteric system, one which I may add still seems unique in its beauty and complexity. Oh, 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 oh hey, yeah, music. The school of Egypt, in some sense, forms the first link in a chain which spans history. It can be linked to the early esoteric traditions of the Aryans, the Trantic, excuse me, the Tantric schools of Tartary, the fire priests of Zoroaster, and the mystery cults of Israel. These form some of the earliest nuclei from which later esoteric traditions evolved and developed. In these forms, we find some of the most complete occult systems taught and practiced throughout the millennia. I said chowder. Say it. Say chowder. Say it. Shout down. Ha ha ha, Frenchy. Ha ha, Frenchy. Say it so you can't say chowder. Say it, say chowder. Say it. Shout down. Since their demise, the Gnosis has continued, albeit in a different form. While these early civilizations offered racial and national centers of the mysteries, the tradition that followed were, for the most part, carried by secret and clandestine bodies. Popularity, when it did arrive, did not last for long, and soon again they made a hasty retreat to the shadows. Certainly this was true with the Essene Gnosis, as taught by Master Jesus. Hey, wanna dance? It was only a very short time after his transfiguration before the true teachings could only be passed in secret and distorted and twisted into weird forms that were offered in their stead by the military and political complex that had become the church. Taken as a whole, the mystery teachings form what can be best understood as the voice of the Gnosis. And it is from this voice that ultimately all authentic esoteric teachings come. Fake my ass and call me Sally. Hell. Snurble ball.